Hi guys, it's been a while since I've done a video, I've been ill, so I've literally, I was bed bound for a few days, I felt awful, but I am back, and I thought I'd just show you the secret slap and tickle garden, because we haven't seen that for a while, the autumnal secret slap and tickle garden, looking amazing, I was going to sit out here and do the video, but it's just started to rain, so, um, We've had the hedge removed from the other side of the fence so it lets more light into it and we've kept the hedge high here and the tree but yeah there it is absolutely love it can't wait for the spring i know we haven't even got to winter yet but um yeah spent so much time out here in the sort of last part of the summer when we moved in and I think it looks amazing. Anyway, guys, let's go in the garage because it's started to rain and I want to have a chat to you about the Kawasaki. So, guys, I'm going to do a quick, not a review, but a little update on my Kawasaki Z900 RS that you can see in the background. Um, I've now done 1,600 miles on it. And I thought I'd give you a quick update on my findings so far and if I still love the bike and uh, it's going to be no surprise that I do um, but there are there is one problem with it which I'll, I'll talk about um, when I when I mention the good bits before I do um, I, I, as I said I've been ill for the last week and I've seemed to have missed all the aggro between youtubers I mean what on earth is going on a lot of willy waving mine's bigger than yours it's ridiculous you all know guys you're looking at the biggest willy <laughs> that came out wrong <laughs> you know what i mean um there's going to be there hasn't been much negativity on my channel but if anything happens like that on my channel i just delete and block the the comments I, i'm not having any of it i'm not getting involved in it youtube is a big enough playground for everyone to play nicely in my in my eyes and uh, i'm all about the positive vibes i don't like negativity in my life full stop so i just think it's really sad and as susie said from the mindful motorcyclist sean and susie we just need to have a big cuddle i think she said a big naked cuddle even better and, and she's right let's just all love each other instead of hate each other it's just just there is no room for this sort of negativity in my eyes anyway um guys so i'll be doing some more um country videos and um i think tame might be bringing out a video soon which is an incredible video so um i, I don't know when that's coming out but yeah really really enjoyed that um let's talk about my bike i'll spin the camera around um now and go through the bits and pieces on my bike and then i'll talk about the one negative that i found with the bike and it's not a, it, i really am scraping the barrel to find something negative to say about my bike because i really believe that i have found my perfect bike and i know a lot of you still doubt me um and understandably i get that but I know in my heart that this this bike is not going anywhere. Um, I, every time I ride it, I, I love it more, if that's possible. Um, and since the remap, so I've done 1,600 miles on it, and post remap, 900 of them have been post remap. So I've really got to know the bike um, before and after the remap, because I did 700 miles up to the first service in the remap, um, and then. 900 miles since so the difference as i said to you before is like night and day i mean you can't compare the bike but let me spin the camera around and i'll talk to you about what i have found so let's start for me with one of the most important things about a motorbike nowadays now i'm in my 50s um is comfort and um i'm six foot four 17 and a half stone and yeah my knees aren't what they used to be i've got arthritis in my fingers so i have to take all those sort of things into consideration the comfort on this bike is the most comfortable bike i've ridden since probably the super meteor which i found really comfortable because of the forward foot controls this bike is as comfortable as that obviously it's a totally different bike but i find it mega comfortable the seat is really padded and really lovely um, it's not a bench seat like on my um, Triumph Bonneville T120. The advantage with a bench, bench seat, if you're tall, is that you can slide back. Um, you can't really, I suppose you can slide back a little bit on this, but I don't need to. The seat height is 835 millimeters, which is, um, I think, 
probably the tallest for a, a modern retro classic bike, except for the Scramblers, obviously. Um, and it means ergonomically, it gives me a, a lot of room. Um, physically, it's a big bike. It, it feels big when I'm on it. Um, whereas the Triumph Bonneville and prior to that, the Royal Enfield Inceptor, they both felt smaller. Uh, the Inceptor felt really small, if I'm honest with you. Uh, and the Bonneville, it was fine, as I said, I could slide back on the seat, but um, it still felt small when I was sitting on it. So this doesn't, uh, this feels like, it is a bigger bike, it, the tank's bigger, it just feels that I'm not looking so silly on it. I'm sure I do still look too too big for it, but I am six foot four. So, um, pillion comfort. So my other half got on this bike when I first got it, before I'd had it remapped and she hated it um the snatchiness meant that she kept banging into me and yeah she she really didn't like it however since the remap so 900 miles now since i've had the remap and we've been out a lot of times um together and she said to me the other day that this is the most comfortable bike i've had for her uh, which is great that's really what the intention was I, we moved to the country and i wanted her to come out with me for like, rides in the country and if she wasn't comfortable, then probably the bike would have had to go. But, but because I did my research on this bike and I knew I test rode two, two of them and both times I did find it snatchy. And I know not everybody does, but I did. And a lot of people do. Um, so uh, I looked into the, the remap and all the reviews were it changes the bike completely. And it does. And it has. And since then, she absolutely loves coming on, on, the, on the back of it. I added this this rail. Um, it's not standard. You when you buy the bike new, you get a little rail, a sort of sidebars there. But um, she prefers the rail at the back, so I got that, and she absolutely loves it. So comfort wise, absolutely ten out of ten for me. Second point is the engine. This Kawasaki four cylinder engine is as smooth as they are. It really is incredible. Um, it's got 110 brake horsepower. Mine's got a little bit more apparently because of the remap that gave me an extra four or five brake horsepower, I think, which wasn't something that I wanted, but um, 110 brake horsepower is more than enough for me. And it's more than enough for most people on the road. Um, it, the sound of it is incredible. The air induction in the exhaust is just incredible. I'll never change the standard exhaust on this because I think the sound is just perfect. And um, yeah, it encourages you to to ride the bike fast i think because of the sound um but yeah for me that's another 10 out of 10 it really really is a lovely lovely engine um next thing on oh, mirrors let's talk about mirrors because this is another big deal for me on a lot of bikes i find that all you can see out of the mirrors are your shoulders with this bike the way it's set up i can see everything behind me it's incredible it really is perfect um, I don't think it would look right with bar end mirrors on it anyway, but um, there's no need to do anything. There's no need to put a, a mirror extender on. Um, it's I can see everything behind me, which is a, a bonus. The clutch is super light, which is perfect for me because as I said to you, I've got arthritis in my fingers. So the lighter the clutch, the better. The clocks, let's talk about looks. So, I mean, I, I, I'd struggle to find anyone, I think, that would say this bike is ugly. I, I think it is a really good-looking bike. I like them in all colours, um, but the yellow ball, green and yellow, was the one that I wanted when I... Excuse me, I'm just not sucking down. When I first started looking. Um, but any of the colours are nice. I paid £9,695 for this pre-reg. So it had four miles on it, and it was a pre-reg. Um... But I've just looked online and Kawasaki Colchester, and they're the people that are shutting down at the end of the year, which is very sad, but they have got a pre-reg one of these for 8999. I mean, I think that is incredible value. It's not the yellow ball, it's the metallic Diablo black, but I think these look great in any color. I mean, this is my favorite, but they all look good to me. And the way that Kawasaki have sort of had a nod to the original Z1, I love the original um, badges on the side. I think they look so cool. The Kawasaki badge on the tank, it's all uppercase instead of just having the lowercase for all the numbers, uh, letters except for the K. Um, 
the ducktail at the back i love that look really love it and i love that sticker that's on the back of that as well yeah um the clocks i mean obviously i've hidden the clocks with this bikini fairing um and a lot of you didn't like that and i understand it's subjective i love it um the only thing it's a shame is that it hides the the shape of the clocks the bullet shape of the clocks which look really cool but for me it looks better with this on and on the motorway it does make a difference so that's a keeper for sure yeah and i think it looks great for in the front as well if i'm honest yeah so guys everything about this bike for me is perfect um i i've left it for 10 days i'm not ridden it and it started first time i haven't got a trickle charge on it yet but i will do um i'm putting the fender extender on this week i've got a friend come around and we're going to do it together i might video it actually um and i've decided to use um some silicon adhesive black silicon adhesive which was recommended by a number of you and uh, i think that's the best way we'll see how it goes if it falls off and i run over and it breaks i mean it was only cheap but i would much prefer not to drill into the mud guard so thank you for everyone for all your suggestions i've got tons which i always do on my when i ask a question which is incredible thank you i put my private plate on there and funnily enough when i went to um Barry St. Edmunds the other day, two people on the same day came over to me. I mean, you get a lot of people coming over and talking about the bike or saying, oh, it's a lovely bike. And it really does draw attention. Um, but two people came over and both of them thought that this was the original Z1 from back in the early 70s. And I guess one of them actually checked the number plate and said, oh, it's an Emridge. And I, I said, no, no, actually, it's only four months old. Um, and I know it doesn't look exactly like the, uh, the the original one, but it's nice that people come over and think that it is, because that means that they've sympathetically made it look enough like the original for people to be thinking that it is, which is great. So let's talk about negatives. Um, I really, really struggle to find anything negative about this bike, but there is one thing, and this doesn't affect everyone, and I'm sure most of you won't worry about it, and that negative thing is that on cold startup, it ticks over at 2000 RPM for a few minutes. So it's quite high. Um, and what I thought I'd do, I haven't ridden the bike today. So what I thought I'd do is I'll do a cold start now and you can see and hear um, what it sounds like. And it's this is just a minor thing. It really is a minor thing, but I am struggling to find anything negative to say about this bike. I really think it's the perfect bike for me. If you're a tall guy and you're looking for a, 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 a retro classic, modern classic, then this is definitely a bike to consider. Um, you might need to get it remapped, but at least you know that the remap works and it turns this bike, as the guy that remapped it said to me, it turns the bike into how Kawasaki wanted it to be before the Euro emissions came in and strangled it and it's spot on that's exactly it this bike is incredible now so let me just spin the camera around maybe and set the camera up and i'll start the engine and from cold and you can hear what it sounds like on a cold start right guys let me start the bike up this is from cold or oh, the other thing that i didn't mention which i love is the little lcd screen between the the two clocks I think that's done really sympathetically and it's got all the information you need to know it's got the gear indicator it's got the petrol gauge temperature gauge fuel gauge clock odometer and various different trip um readers so you've got everything you need this bike doesn't have um a lot of extras it doesn't have things like different rider modes it doesn't have cruise control um it's it's quite basic in in, in that way but um, that's what I need. I don't want anything with all of those bits. I, I love it just as it is. Oh, I've got to say thank you to Joe from the Isle of Man who sent me this little cover for my brake reservoir. Mate, that is so kind of you. Thank you. And it matches the bike. Incredible. Right, let's start this bike up and you will see what I mean about its tick over.
so as you can hear it, it does tick over um higher than a lot of bikes i've had and i know i've read a lot of people saying the same thing about this bike it's a minor thing um but it is i suppose a little bit annoying if you're heading off early in the morning when everything's very quiet outside um but that was really the only negative thing i could find about this bike because for me it is the perfect bike so guys this is a long video 15 minutes um i was going to talk about my second bike that uh, my decisions on which bike i'm going to get as my second bike but i'll have to leave that for another video i need to do some more countryside videos because i feel like i've been holed up in my house for the last week not been able to do anything guys have a great rest of the week and i will catch you on the next one ride safe